Hello, and welcome to this edition of the CSIAC podcast series. In today's episode, we'll be conducting a review of the VPN filter malware. We also invite you to check out and discover more original content available on our website at www.csiac.org. In late May 2018, security researchers announced that certain consumer-grade electronic devices had been infected by a type of malware referred to as the VPN filter. Only a couple of days later, after this information was disclosed, a few different agencies of the United States government issued a warning to users of these compromised devices, strongly advising them of specific steps to take immediately in order to protect themselves from potential damage. A highly sophisticated group of foreign cyber actors were linked to this malware attack. Cisco's Talos security team identified the malware and reported that it had infected over a half million devices produced by a handful of different manufacturers. The particular equipment that had been targeted in this attack included small office, home office, also referred to as SOHO routers, and network attached storage NAS devices. By utilizing the VPN filter malware, the hackers were able to intercept, collect, and modify network traffic. They could launch various attacks, and it also possessed the capability to destroy devices by merely issuing a single command. Cisco's security team suspected that the malware had been engineered by hackers working for a nation state. A later report by the Daily Beast attributed these router-based attacks to the Russian cyber espionage Sophocy Group, which is better known as Fancy Bear or Advanced Persistent Threat APT-28. The Federal Bureau of Investigation seized the VPN filter internet domain to dismantle the means for launching further attacks. Both the FBI and Department of Homeland Security also recommended that owners of SOHO routers perform either a factory reset or reboot their devices to temporarily disrupt the malware in order to aid in the potential identification of infected devices. Let's examine the features of the VPN filter. This malware is a multi-stage modular platform. It provides versatile capabilities that enable it to be utilized for both intelligence collection and destructive cyber attack operations. The stage one malware persists through a reboot. This feature sets it apart from most other malware that targets Internet of Things, IoT devices. This first phase enables the malware to establish a persistent foothold to support the deployment of later stages. Stage one utilizes multiple redundant command and control C2 mechanisms, which makes this malware extremely robust and capable of dealing with unpredictable C2 infrastructure changes. The Stage 2 malware possesses capabilities that we typically associate with complex intelligence gathering platforms such as file collection and data exfiltration. Based on their demonstrated knowledge and capabilities, it was deemed with a high level of confidence that these cyber actors could execute commands causing the devices to self-destruct. The Stage 3 malware can access various modules consisting of specific payloads to conduct a range of desired actions. For example, spying on industrial control system ICS devices. 
So what kind of impact did the VPN filter have? Both the scale and the capability of this malware operation are really quite concerning. Cisco estimated that at least 500,000 devices were infected in over 50 countries. The behavior of this malware and networking equipment is particularly disturbing. Some components of the VPN filter malware allow for theft of website credentials and monitoring of Modbus SCADA protocols. In addition, it is capable of tracking your web traffic and conducting attacks which can steal your secure or private information. Given the destructive component and global scope of this malware infection, hundreds of thousands of victims worldwide could have lost access to the internet. Unfortunately, a simple method that, to determine whether or not a certain router has been infected by VPN filter does not exist. Therefore, in this case, the best practice is to err on the side of caution and carry out the necessary steps to minimize the effects of a possible VPN filter infection. It is highly recommended that the device be rebooted as soon as practical. In addition, you should also consider changing the existing password and replacing it with a much stronger one. It is also advisable to disable the router's remote administration configuration setting. Finally, per Cisco's advice, the most effective course of action is to conduct a factory reset of the targeted devices. As we noted earlier in this podcast, the VPN filter malware was a massive infection which affected users of Soho routers and NAS devices around the globe. While the Cisco security team members could not pinpoint the initial infection threat vectors with absolute certitude, they highly suspect that known vulnerabilities and default passwords were probably the main culprits exploited by this malware. For complete assurance and peace of mind, users of Soho routers might want to consider replacing the identified vulnerable equipment as the quickest and safest method of avoiding this threat. If you are interested in learning more about the VPN filter router attacks, I would suggest you check out the companion web article to this podcast at the CSIAC website. On behalf of the CSIAC, we would like to thank you for viewing this podcast. We hope you found the content useful and informative. If you would like to provide us with feedback, please comment on this video or visit our website at www dot csiac dot org where you can also find additional content to review thank you did you know that csiac offers free monthly webinars featuring experts in the areas of cybersecurity software engineering modeling and simulation and knowledge management Come see leading industry professionals talk about industry practices and leading research. Make sure to visit www.csiac.org forward slash webinars in order to subscribe to our mailing list and see when the next webinar series is available. There you can also watch previous webinar series to catch up. Visit www.csiac.org forward slash webinars 